we're gonna get you in world class shape. Not good shape. Not great shape. World class shape. In 2022-23 season, Miami Heat made a mouth-opening rally from the 8th seed to the NBA Finals. In Jimmy Butler's eyes, Bam Adebayo's presence, or candidly strong plays from all of the undrafted players. We see strong will, though the will and the drive to win take a huge part of winning, especially in the playoffs. The reason why Heat is Heat is a lot more substantial than the simple mental part of the game. Heat culture is different, and within that culture, the maestro Pat Riley is always at the core. Hoops Hype's Alex Kennedy wrote a remarkable article that describes when Dion Waiter saw Riley for the first time. Riley told him the quote, We are going to get you in world-class shape. Not good shape, not great shape, world-class shape. The impression we tend to have for Heat is relentless, intense, no compromise. Whatever you describe the franchise, Heat is a different organization from the rest. In this video, I'd like to show you 5 rules to truly be a Heat. Number 1. No fake gym rats. When players newly arrive at Heat, they are already athletes. They all have gone through exhausting trainings to be competitive at games. Even before the training camp, Heat staff call players and give them conditioning drills like sprints and flip tires. Once the actual camp starts, there's no difference between rookies and veterans. They all play hard. Their common sayings, no fake gym rats or no excuses, is displayed so clearly in their daily practice. Number 2. 9% or less. The Miami Heat conduct body fat tests twice per week. They must pass the maximum 9% body fat threshold. The average of the entire NBA is between 6 and 13%. It sounds not too strict, but the test done twice a week is way more often than any other team. Typically hold a test only twice a year before and after the season. Under the strict standard, what happens if a Heat player fails the threshold then? As Burgo Villanueva wrote in Basketball Network, Shaq was told from Riley that if he does not make the required body fat, he will be fined thousand dollars. Next time, he will be fined again, then the third time, he will be suspended again. Shaq tried so hard to achieve this and eventually, his body fat remained 13%, which is the same as before he started working on it. And it is not clear he actually paid the fine or not, but he won another championship in 2006. There is a picture taken in 2021 showing Shaq lost 10 kilos and the six packs coming up. He said he had them for the first time since he was in Miami in 2006. Some players have gone to great lengths to ensure that they met their weight goal. Some years ago, a few players would sometimes take detox drinks, take laxatives, or sit in a steam room in order to be ready for their Monday weigh in. There is no exception for this rule. When Dwayne Wade in his prime showed up with the weight of 230 pounds and he told Riley, the gain is just muscle. Then Riley said this to the Flash, no, you are fat. Number 3. No hands on knees. Miami has a rule that players can't put their hands on their knees for a breather during a practice or game. Any player who does this is fined $100. Look how much would Kobe and MJ have been fined if they were heat. Number 4. The test. For some players, summer is a time to relax and recuperate from the fatigue, unless you are a Heat. On the first day of training camp, all Heat must prove they are perfectly ready. They have to do 10 full court sprints, down and back, in under 60 seconds. They must do this 5 times to pass. There is no doubt that it is really hard to pass the test. Even Jimmy Butler did not pass when he took it for the first time. Number 5. Food Heat players are encouraged and managed to eat healthy, which is a total opposite to eating the junk food or fast food. They will learn what is good and bad for their body, and the team staff support their eating habit. This can be a very surprising to some players, especially from former G League players as they are typically so used to junk and fast food. The food conditioning also contributes to the body fat management. Heat is undoubtedly one of the best organizations in NBA, if not all sports leagues. 
they demand the players to be their absolute best by forcing them to work on extremely hard on and off the court. It is tough for sure, but there will be great return if you could enjoy. There have been countless players who benefited from the team culture. Former Heat forward James Johnson lost 40 pounds and got his body fat percentage down to 6.75% while in Miami. You can see Dion Waiters before and after photos to see the transformation. You may see how great Heat organization is, but in hindsight, it is not for everyone. If you are the type who thrives in highly managed and controlled environment, Heat is such an ideal place. But if you prefer some liberty and autonomy in your own life, heat might provide a very stressful environment to be in. If you are young and yet to prove players, heat may sound like one of the ideal teams since they expect you to be very best and do everything they can to realize that. But if you are one of the vets who have established your routine already in other environment, heat way might be a little too meddlesome. You may like it or not, but heat organization is undoubtedly world class.